Hello. Long time no see. So I'll go ahead and continue this. Things about to get real interesting. There was a scramble to evacuate. Quickly, everyone! This way! Hurry! Are you coming with us? I must remain here a little longer. Go now, there is no time. I will seal the passage behind you. May the Force be with you all. Master Junda, you use the force, you're Cal Kestis. It's time to go. The Empire's closing in. Yes, which is why this must make it back to Master Junda. These contact codes cannot fall into the hands of the Empire. back in.
Bye. You too, Desert Ghost. idea what they were about to find. return to Dathomir. It is taxing. You okay? I am fine. Come on. Let's get these coats to see her.
guess we can't. Oh, we can. There we go. Comfortable back there. It is acceptable. Yeah. Easy, easy. Finished? All set. You can find me in the archive. You're the Traveler. Have you found any systems outside the Empire's reach? Not that I have come across. There are countless ruins scattered across the High Desert. One of them could be a perfect safe house for the path. Great time to change up our equipment. Yeah, I guess. No, I don't really need to right now. Jedi Knight. I am called Sister Task. I'm Cal. Word of your arrival has spread quickly, Noble One. Master Junda holds you in high esteem. Seer and I have been through a lot together. 
Jeddah is brimming with lost artifacts related to your order, among other traditions. Should you happen upon any scrolls or other objects of interest, I would gladly exchange some of the treasures I've unearthed for them. I'll let you know if I find anything. We are in your debt, noble one. I've noticed some pretty fierce creatures in the desert. Indeed. Though I suspect you have yet to meet the fiercest. Oh yeah? Stay afield of the Golden Scryton, noble one. It is an ancient, treacherous creature. Should you be forced to confront it, do not trust its movements. It strikes suddenly, and in quick succession. I'll keep that in mind. Care to gaze upon the sacred treasure? I see. Stay curious, always. Here. I couldn't save Armaius. He gave his life for this. I'm sorry. I know you did your best, Cal. And the Empire? They did not track us. Hey, Scrapper. Glad you made it back in one piece. Master Kudova, did you find a way across the Abyss? No. But you may have, Cal. Boat and I were able to find some interesting data in the archives. Let's show them what we dug up. Centuries ago, the Republic established the colony on Kobo to study a stellar anomaly known as the Abyss. Santari Kree led the research team. That sea with them. Early attempts to navigate the Abyss ended in disaster. The Republic was on the verge of abandoning the project. And then guess who volunteers to fly in alone and discovers a planet on the other side? Dagon. Using the data from his voyage, Kree invented the Abyss Compass to guide others safely to Tannul. The Republic established a settlement. The Jedi built a temple. Just like you said, Cal. Regrettably, a time of peace and prosperity was disrupted when Outer Rim Marauders invaded. I saw them too, but... How'd they get across the Abyss? They must have stolen a compass. Don't worry, we won't be so careless. Overwhelmed, the Republic abandoned Tanalor, and the Jedi Council ordered Creed to destroy the compass. Dagon Gera refused and rebelled against the Order. That is a Gendai. They do not often ally with other species. Looks like Ravis has been working with Dagon for a lot longer than we thought. So the Order sent Jedi to secure the compasses. Dagon murders them over it. Jedi. Killing other Jedi. But... Centauri said that Dagon was the key to Tantalor. Maybe he is young Jedi. Despite my efforts, those compasses you brought me were beyond repair. However, records indicate that three were unaccounted for. So you're saying one might still be out there? Yes, and Dagon sent his army to look for it. <laughs> I'd ask you to stay and help us, but... I recognize that look. What well, look? Hope. That planet could be a haven for those who stand against the Empire. So you coming with us? I mean, Grease can make room on the Mantis. For all of you. No. This place needs me. The Hidden Path needs me. Cordova? I'm sorry, my friend. But for now, my place is on Jeddah with Seer. Let me prepare a data stick so you'll have access to our research wherever your journey takes you. Let me guess. You're staying too. When we first met, I thought that what we shared was... unique. Survivors. Fighting together against the Empire who took our families. Realize I wasn't alone. As did you. 
But there is a galaxy full of people who have suffered as we have. It's as Seer said. Perhaps you have found a sanctuary for them. Perhaps. If we can get to it. I will join you. Besides, it's been far too long since I've made Grease's hair stand on end. See you back on the Mantis night, sister. Oh, so he's actually coming with us. Nice. I'm curious to hear what you make of Dagon Garra's history. Dagon felt like his life's work was being threatened. That obsession led him astray. <laughs> Sounds all too familiar. What do you mean? You may recall that I had a vision foretelling the fall of the Order. Of the Council. Well, let's just say that my warnings fell on deaf ears. In my arrogance, I felt betrayed. But you were right. That's beside the point. I allowed my wounded pride to cloud my judgment. When the purge began, I was still searching for proof that my vision was true. Instead of being there to support Seer and her Padawan. Ah, Cal. I was hoping we could speak about something. There is a site, quite an ancient one at that, in the northern desert. I visited it during my early days on Jeddah, before the Empire's presence grew. What kind of site? One built by those who revered Force users. We know little about them, but I found the experience quite fascinating. Perhaps you will too. I'll check it out. Cool. Cal? BD well-timed. I remembered a second location you might wish to explore. Another temple? Quite so. This one is in the southern desert, and it is quite magnificent. When I visited, I felt the weight of the past upon me. I am sure you will too. Sounds incredible. I think so. Although it was certainly simpler before the Empire increased its presence here. Good luck on Kobo, my friend. Nothing else. Time for us to make our move. All right. You're upset about our bias. Aren't you? Of course. But this is not the first life lost in our struggle. And it will not be the last. I know, but we were so close here. Brother Armias served the cause faithfully. And that service lives on through our determination to keep moving forward. What happens to the safe house now? It will be a long time before we can risk sending anyone to collect what remains. Cal, find Tanelor. Imagine how many lives we could save. We should return to Kobo soon. I'll just need a moment here. Let's see here. The longer we wait, the bolder these raiders grow. What's keeping us? Kobo calls. Right. Done it, did you? Actually, I think I'm supposed to go the other way. I'll do the side quest later. Right now though, time to go on.
there you are. Man, this is tuned to perfection and ready to go. <laughs> so where are we going? Back to Kobo. Turns out we need a special compass to navigate the abyss. A compass? Okay, sure, sure. Whatever you say, kid. Oh, and Marin's coming along. Wait, what? Mar Marin's joining us? Why didn't you tell me? I could have cleaned up the place. Oh, this is just perfect. Well, now it's too late to clean the manis. I hope she doesn't notice. This, I guess she won't care. But we'll see. Well, the Marin's with us. We can go back to Coruscant. Wait, we can go back to Coruscant? The Raiders paid us another visit. Took a shine to that droid you found. See? They took her, Cal! Carried her right out! She's been droid napped! My saloon better be okay, Turgle. I think you brought this down on us! I'm innocent, Mr. Grease! Promise! Dagon sent them. He's after Tantalor. There must be something more to Z than we realized. Something scrambled up in her memory banks. We have to rescue her. Once he gets what he wants, he'll scrap her for sure. It won't be easy to get her back. The raider base is in the swamp. They gutted an old Luker Hulk battleship from the Clone Wars. We've seen it. Means they got a lot of firepower. As do we. She's right. Now's our time to move. I like where this is going. They already have what they came for. They're back at their fortress feeling safe, complacent. They'll never see it coming. Maybe not. But if you're wrong, then they'll be looking for payback. Not to worry. I will stay here and look after Grease and the others. You sure? I think you two can manage. Just don't let him swim without supervision. Let me know if you need help. My sex. Name's Mosey. Marin. All right. I'll scout ahead. Meet you there. How's it going, guys? It's been a while. So I decided to take a massive break from the first part of the video. And not only that, but I decided to get a new mic as well. Hopefully this is much better than the mic I've been using up to this point. So, the reason why the video is cut up like that in the middle of nowhere, like, for some reason when I was recording, I tried to go to another planet. I went to Coruscant, and for whatever reason, uh, Streamlabs, OBS, decided to quit working, and for a reason it brought me here and it didn't show anything leading up to this so I'm glad I got to have the cutscene at least one more time but yeah we, I decided to take a detour at Coruscant and uh, now we're here um, so yeah the droid's been captured supposedly so now we're gonna go find it and I noticed the game frame rate is worse than that I last recall um, the game's up to past six by now, but it's still kind of choppy. Not gonna lie. So let's get going. Let me know what you guys think of the new mic. I guess I gotta go up this way. Yeah, let's go. Quite choppy. Wow, it's bad. Okay. 
we're going the right way. Should be going this way. It looks like it. Yeah, Who needs a good scratch? I just saved your fool life. Who are you anyway? I'm Turgle. Well, if you won't keep breathing, you best follow me. This is Raider territory. Yeah, this game's quite choppy. I'm gonna have to change settings. do that right now because this is terrible uh, no I'm not sure it's gameplay no. so I can't exactly do anything about that can I wait on yes um Okay, there we go. Let me reduce this to uh, medium. Actually, maybe custom. Perhaps this will load things much better. Ready, BD? Oh yeah. That's a very much good Neko. Much better. Needs a good scratch. Jump. Whoops. Okay, that's not it. 
Darn it. Why is the controls for that? Uh, I haven't played in so long now. That's not funny. I can probably take a quick Google search. So I know R is to enable that. Q, no. I try Q. Well, let me. Wait a second. <laughs> Should I? You know what? Never mind. Okay, I'm here now, so I just gotta make my way. Close, get in there. Just 
One more. Let me go ahead and save. Z so can get the data off this disk. Be a way in. It's the best option I can see. Only way to the Luker Hulk is through this swamp. For you, maybe. You want to ride, BD? <laughs> when you're ready, make a move on that gantry. I'll be watching. Copy that. That's one way not to get mud on your boots, huh? Now we just need to rescue Z. Hard to believe anything could live in this swamp. I guess our friend here makes it work. See that building, buddy? Guess someone does live here. Or did once. Thickens. How much do you think this is worth? Nothing's worth crossing the raiders. Now move. I'm not leaving you here. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Let's check but this place out. Find my data Can't we just oh, yeah, get a new one? Absolutely not. My entire life is on that datapad. 
You're the new fella I've seen at the cantina. I'm Zig. Cal, this is BD-1. Nice to meet you. Ahem, and I am Winnie Edis. Cal, was it? We've only just met, but I could use some assistance. What do you need? I was told there's a bird in this swamp that spots a resplendent blue marsh. But when I tried to get a closer look at one, it snatched my data pad and flew away. Where'd it go? They've got a nest at the top of a spire nearby. I'd go, but Winnie here says I gotta stay by her side. Yes! Yes! That spire there! It's so close, yet so far. I'll see what I can do. You shine like the stars. Oh, <laughs> that's a coruscant saying. Perhaps a more simple. Thank you, Carl. Oh, great. Side quest. Although... I can't move that, but there's no other way up to the pillar either. Can't move what? Buddy, over here. Good job, BD. Okay, can't move that right now, but we can probably move it when I get a new ability. There's a hook down beneath me. I just want to look, just to make sure I'm not missing nothing else up here. Oh no, wait, the hook's up here. No, it's down here. Um, okay, so it's one of those shortcuts I need to unlock at some point. Alright, let's head into the cave, see what's down there. Nice job, BD. Yuck, I hate that. Uh, so okay, can't coin that. You ever been in a ship this big before, buddy? Been a long time for me. Not oh, looking forward to it. But Z's in there. We're not leaving without her. That works. I thought I had to deal with John, so that works too. Double jump for some reason. Yeah, for some reason it will not let me double double jump, so I have to try this again. A lot of the separatist ships, like the Clone Wars. Toss me a stem, buddy. That works. 
to. That don't sound good. Let's okay, stop. Good. Checkpoint. There you are. Ready to liberate one slightly eccentric High Republic droid? Yeah. Hold on. You? Well, I'm here, aren't I? Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. I'm gonna try and put this into one video. This is currently currently two parts. But I'll put it together as one. So I'll go ahead and end the recording here, but I'll catch you in the next one.